Aloha everybody, Gabe here from the Hawaii Institute of Self-Reliance. Welcome back, thank you for watching. In today's video, I wanna talk about sugarcane and the benefits. Now, I learned in school that the ancient Hawaiians used to actually brush their teeth with sugarcane. After a meal, the fibers in the sugarcane would actually brush their teeth, they would chew on sugarcane. Now, you'd think, well, sugar would rot your teeth, right? And make your teeth horrible, but when Captain Cook showed up on the island, his account was that the Hawaiians had some of the pearliest whites he'd ever seen, while all of his crew had rotten and wooden teeth. So there might be something about this, you know, like maybe in moderation, a little bit of sugar cane after every meal would actually brush your teeth and it would be kind of like a dessert. Stick around to learn more about this plant. This sugar cane is ready to harvest. Let's chop her down. Got my grasso bolo here, made by Bark River. It's a perfect knife for this job. There we go. She's harvested. This is the purple variety of sugar cane. You can tell by the purple color of the skin. This is definitely a grass. And here are the leaves. Now you can tell by the leaf if it's all like dying and they're separated more in between each node that it's ready to harvest. You want to harvest it before it creates this tassel. You'll see this long shoot kind of start to come up and that's when you want to start to harvest them. This one is a little bit too old, but it will work for a survival situation and just to eat to get some carbohydrates. It's a closer look at this plant. This is the root system of sugarcane. Comes right off the stalk, at the nodes, grows down into the ground pretty interesting. So that means that you can take a section of this and replant it and it'll grow fairly easy. Pretty interesting plant, huh? All you have to do is just peel it and chew on the innards right here, the inner fibers. It's a very fibrous plant. It's got plenty of carbohydrates and sugars and minerals. A little bit of protein, not too much. And so like I said, you just peel it and chew on the inside. Now this is a grass. Y you might not find it in the wild. Uh, you probably find it in farmland but if you're in a natural disaster or some kind of survival situation and you come across sugarcane, you're gonna be stoked because this will give you the energy to get through the day for sure. Now, you can um, make drinks out of it, um, you know, get the juice, extract the juice. And in my research, the ancient Hawaiians would use it as a medicine but they would add the juice to medicines to make them taste better. I don't think it was just a medicine on its own. But, you know, sugar can you know, give you energy, so it can you know, make you feel better. So it's, it's definitely something that if you find in a survival situation, definitely harvest this and, and pick it. Now, like I was saying, uh, when, the, when the flower starts to come out, that's when it's getting too old. So you wanna catch it to the point where it, the flower has not come out, but you know, any stage you can eat this and it will give you something. It's just that there's certain uh, age that it will be ha it'll have the most sugar. And then of course there's other ages where it won't have that much sugar. So I'm rambling now, but uh, <laughs> I hope you liked this video. I hope that it helped you out. I hope you comment, love all your comments. Please share this video and subscribe 
for further videos. And until next time, aloha.